Hey guys, Justin here. I'm in Red Cliff right now and time for another train vlog today. According to the caption, like before actually we've done a very similar one, train versus 940 today. Yes, so we start from Red Cliff today and we end at Elizabeth Key. And afterwards I would do the same thing as last time. I would take 940 this time, not 37. Last time was 37. And I would test it out which one's actually faster. But I think the train should be faster for this but uh, we'll see. But this time for sure, because not terrible timetables for the 940, I would, do the, I would make it fair by doing the exact same direction for both the 940 and the trains. That's why I'm, I'm gonna take the trains towards Elizabeth Key and I'm just gonna take the trains back up here and I'm gonna take the 940 from there and time it that way. Instead of actually like last time, I'm doing the opposite direction. So, I cliff here and uh, base water station still closed, but very soon it might reopen. So probably when this video is already out, it's out and premiered, it should be already uh, opened, hopefully, but... Now I also have this stupid weird announcement here. Clam on passengers, your next service departs from platform 2. Here it is. Yep, that's that weird announcement. Because uh, they just do it. What the hell? What is this playing non stop passengers for Claremont? Passengers, what? What is this stupid announcement keep on playing non stop? It played three times in a row without actually any stops, but what? Why is it still playing? What the hell is this? <laughs> this is so stupid. Uh, we're gonna cut it out. But when this video is out in Premiere, probably. Base water station will be open, so that's why this stupid announcement just playing non stop. Oh, we finally stopped after four times. What, anyways? We're waiting for the train now. Here's the train, and no one in the staff tent, so I'm just completely safe. Probably someone's actually on this train, probably checking tickets again, as they usually always do. So, same criteria this time, checking the time. We will count the waiting time as well at Perth because that's technically part of the journey. So that's why we will be counting the, uh, the train waiting time at Perth as well. So I'm not going to cut the time. Again, the same criteria as last time. We're going to start the clock as soon as the train start moving. So I have my clock already on the side, ready to go. So let's do it. Hopefully I don't drop my phone into the, the thing. So, all right, on board. And actually also just the first time ever actually I went up here and I actually saw the 292 by PATH Transit. It's actually my first time. I haven't saw that, I haven't seen that yet after it switched to PATH for the 292. So, okay, door has closed. Start moving, go. Alright, now just go and count it all the way to Perth and then go to the Swift Cape. And then after that, we'll test out the 980, the 940 with the same direction. And we call that there. Okay, so let's do it. Next station, Meltham. Then all stations to Perth. Change at Meltham for Midland line services. Okay, so I just filmed at the, 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 uh, the uh, 284, which is actually not fun, actually. So slow. And also I got a bad driver at the start so at the start i didn't film that thing at the front i filmed at the back so that's fine at the back is always safe to do but it's just when i before i board i took the shot of the bus took a picture for the thumbnail and he asked me why i'm taking pictures i was like taking pictures is not like a problem you know like maybe taking videos you guys might be thinking is a little bit irritating and uh, not appropriate but of course taking videos for private using this is private using and that's definitely okay. So, just some happy shares, and I'm not even filming any people, so. But like, what's the point of taking a picture of the bus? Literally. Anyways, but I filmed it at the back, so that's why it's no problem. No one stopped me all the way through. And now we're gonna go to do this one now, and I'll take the 940 afterwards. So I'll stop the clock as soon as I hit Elizabeth Key train station. I know it's different, Elizabeth Key train station and Elizabeth Key bus station, there's two different things. There's still a little bit of a distance between each other, but I'm just gonna call it there because there's no point of actually making a difference for that. So, 
finally have some break days that I can finally come out and do some filmings. I'm going to do another day on Sunday after my church service because that day has some shutdowns on Armadale and Thorny Line. So that's why I went to take the 907 again and 908. And I'll do a route in Thorny or something. So, and uh, according to Mark, also uh, a very good driver will be actually driving on 907 upcoming. So that's why. Unfortunately, when this video is uploaded and out and premiere, that driver is, has already left Transperth. So, unfortunate because she should have left Transperth to uh, move to Sydney. So, upcoming Sunday when I'm filming this, so basically two days afterwards, she has work for three more days. She will be working for Transperth for three more days before she resigns and moves to Sydney. Unfortunate. Now here's the last time probably we we're passing through base for the station. There's a slow speed here. And there are also going to be some closures for the full line just to facilitate base water station before it actually opens. So they might reopen it mid, mid September or late September for base water station with a new bus station at the bottom. That would be awesome. Let's see how many routes will be actually going down there. For sure the 999 all of those will be going down there and uh, no longer goes to Meltham when it reopens. The 48 which should also goes down there as well. The 44 will be removed as soon as, it, as, soon as Space Water Station opens. Because there's no point of that 44. The 44 is basically a train replacement. Not a train. Is that one set? I can't see it, damn it. Set 100 something. It's actually a decent set, set 89. So it's pretty decent. There's base water station. You can actually walk outside already. That's where you where you can actually walk. Literally right outside there. Oh, it looks like they've blocked that path off again. Because they're facilitating the works. Oh damn. Oh. And where's where can people walk? Like that's the path that I've walked last time and they've closed it off again. Well, C Learn has came recently to Perth for like three days and then he left already so so I didn't get a chance to film anything with him because I have too much work to do too much school work but I did met him he did came over to he did came come over to Curtin one day so I just asked him you can you can come over if you want to my place and then he went over and then we have a quick chat and that's basically it so he did film a bus sporting video at Curtin so wait for that thing to be out and you can go ahead and watch that so after all these, uh, after the 940 journey, I'm going to take the 75 because I want to try that out. <laughs> I'm slowly but surely, have, I have made my own uh, Transperth bus route list. So eventually I want to kill off and take off every single route. I've already ticked off the routes I've taken full journey. So I only count. Now I only count I have taken that route completely after I've taken every single section. I don't care whether I take it in one go, but I need to take the same direction all the way through within uh, after after like few few times. So, like for example, I've taken the 910 full journey. I didn't take all the way from Perth to Fremantle, but I've taken from Perth to Canning Bridge and I've taken from Canning Bridge to Fremantle. So that's basically full journey. So that's where that's how I count it. So, I've taken the 75 numerous times, but it's just to curtain. And that's it. One time I did went down to Wilson with the 75, but I didn't continue my way down to Canning Vale. So this time I'm gonna go all the way down to Canning Vale to take the 75 off. So. This is Meltham. Change here for Midland Line Services. This is Meltham. Change here for Midland Line Services. Very soon we're gonna switch back to Bayswater for the changing. So, upcoming the 44 will be removed completely over here, so... So, and due to the fact that uh, the uh, Bayswater Road closure, so that's why you have to actually change to the 44 when you're actually taking train replacement. Now there's the 44 replacement here, one HIS 115, that's a very usual bus that's actually used. And H, of course. <laughs> So because of road closure near Bayswater, so that's why only the 44 are running into the uh, Bayswater area. Even the 901 and 902 are not going into Meltham at all. And not, not going into Bayswater, so that's why you have to change at Meltham for the 901 and 902 and then change for Meltham for 44 if you want to go to Bayswater. So that's pretty funny. 
usually before the road actually closes, the normal 901, 902 will go in to Bayswater. But because of road closures now, so that's why they can't. So before when 901 and 902 were running, the 44 doesn't have service because there's no point, it's the same thing. So, but with now road closure, they, they will have to run the 44 as well as the train replacement at the same time. Oh gosh. We got uh, four transit officers outside checking on one dude. What the hell is that happening there? This is my what the hell has what the hell is happening over there with that dude? Literally four transit officers swarmed him in the middle of the platform, and then with a staff next to him too. So technically five people checking on one guy for some reason. Probably something wrong with that guy that ha that he has done something stupid or something completely unacceptable so he needs to get stopped uh, oops sorry about that now the clock is still running I have my clock inside my uh, inside my phone right now it's still running very good so or it's only at eight minutes right now but so eight minutes 14 right now continue our way this is so fast, definitely this is way faster than the 940, but let's just see how well does the 940 do compared with the trains. Now for sure 940 is way better to take compared with train replacement. Train replacement completely sucks because the uh, under t underground section replaced, pla replacing that underground section is already 30 minutes. <laughs> so terrible. The 902 is literally trash. So. I rather actually the 902 if they are really for real doing it and they want they don't want to make it annoying. Why not just skip everything express? Why not just express everything after touching all of the airport stations? Because this section is served anyways, but I guess they want to make it as like the train and stopping it everywhere. So it's kind of troll. So well, this is gonna be a quick video. <laughs> Uh, we should have some Colburn trains already, so that's why that will also be actually taken into consideration. But uh, if you don't have any Colburn trains, then just add in another 7 minutes. Actually no, it's 5 minutes, isn't it? Then just add in another 5 minutes if you don't get a Colburn train. If you have... No! No, 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 because now it's 5 minutes per train. So that's why you should add in 10 minutes if you're doing off-peak. So, you should add in 10 minutes if you want to do it off peak. But the thing is, that's basically waiting time. So that's why if I didn't get a wait, if I didn't get to wait, then you add in 10 minutes. Okay? If I have to wait, then it's just like it is. So. But I checked at the clock. It's pretty trash, the, the timing for the airport line and Mandra line. It's pretty trash. So, because since you arrive at Perth, it should be like one minute before the train departs for the underground part. While it's perfect timing at, at Claysbrook later on for an Armadale line train. Which later on we still can do during the shutdown. Yes, we still can do during the shutdown period. The trains will continue to run between Perth and Victoria Park, so... They're doing that, not closing off the whole Armadale line, just to let people to use the stadium. That's basically what it is. They just have that section open just for people to actually have access to the stadium. That's basically it. Yeah. Because just to make it easier and life easier for the people going to a stadium and also some of the straight through trains from Frank Junilov and Fremantle lines. So that's why they keep that section open. But that's basically it, nothing else. High Wick and BS over there. 66, not too bad. The train is completely empty right now. Pretty, pretty, pretty lonely this train right now. Also there's a prospector over there. Yeah, there it is. There's the prospector all the way through. Is it on Trospector or is it on something else? Because they can't use the Prospector train on like the uh, like the Meriden link or something like that. It doesn't matter. Because it's just some trains, so. This is East
Are you with Riley that day with the uh, City to Surf? I was at City to Surf. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Supervising. Yeah. I was with Riley a little bit. Not yeah, a lot. Not a lot. Not a long, long time though. No. <laughs> no, no, yeah, I know. Uh, just, just, just a six to four. That's it. Yeah, Not really. Did you put a YouTube video? <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh gosh. Probably everyone went. Should have a video. Yeah. yeah. Video. Well, bump into a coordinator on uh, six to four city to surf day. Nice friend of friend of Riley, I think. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Now I'm just doing commentaries. So that's oh, right. Right. All right, clay's broke. Depot is pretty empty today. If the train should be out for W patrons, so. Try not to film him. I don't know whether he wants to be on camera, but everyone's friend over there, actually just Riley's friend, but Riley's friend over there, Lachlan. So if you guys know Lachlan, so he's a, he's a coordinator of Transperf. So, yep. So there he goes. He just took the train there. Apparently they also still need to tack on and tack off. That's pretty funny. <laughs> just got off at East Perth and then just get one stop. So, so there goes Lachlan, saw him on that day with uh, Riley at uh, the 624 City to Surf event. He said he watched some of the videos, so he should be also a, uh, yeah, he should be also an enthusiast, so there he goes. So happy to see some good Transperf staffs like that, so appreciate all of your support guys, especially all of the enthusiast Transperf staff, I appreciate it. Always appreciate it, so I didn't film him, so I literally I'm covering the camera, so that's why I'm trying to be a good guy. Okay, there's some stupid people so next to me. Armado C, two cars completely full. Not completely, but very full. What the hell happened to that thing? What? That thing's completely dead on the other side. What the hell? The uh, display. One side is working, the other side's dead. Mm -hmm. Completely empty, not showing anything. Alright, there we go. MacIver. This is MacIver. This is MacIver. <laughs> right, next is Perth, and then showground station for Royal Show is coming up in September this year. Probably should have passed already, but I'm, hopefully I can film some videos for that with a Fremantle Line train terminating at showgrounds because there won't be any more express trains this year due to airport line has opened. Last year, airport line was not open, so that's why they can run express trains with six cars all the way through from Perth to showgrounds nonstop. But this year with airport line trains, that's why they just added extra services instead of actually doing express. So they just do extra services or stops for the Fremantle line, but they don't go to Fremantle. Instead, they just terminate the showgrounds for the Fremantle line trains. And uh, of course, airport line will continue running through in stopping the showgrounds. There's no point of an airport line train terminating the showgrounds because airport line trains terminate Claremont, which is like, I don't know how many, how many, how many meters away from showground station. It's literally like, like walkable distance, so that's why. No point. This train runs from Perth to Claremont, stopping at all stations. This announcement is so funny. <laughs> Next station, Perth. This train runs from Perth to Claremont, stopping at all stations. That's so funny. Alright, going into Perth here. And also, one day at night, there's, uh, there's funny shutdowns on the Mandra line. I can talk about that later on at the Mandra trains. It's so funny that day. Because uh, they're shut down at night for Mandra lines. So that's why they shut down from Perth, not shut down from Elizabeth Key. That's the funny thing. And then they have 949 running as well because they're going to Auburn Grove, Perth to Auburn Grove. So that's why they shut down that. So that's why the uh, 949 runs from Perth bus port which never happens during the middle of the day is always just go to Elizabeth Key 
And then because of that, 949 need to stop from need to start from Perth and then stop at Elizabeth Key without actually doing a straight through express and then Elizabeth Key express to Auburn Grove. So, which is so funny. 949 not a complete express. And also with Dreams of Line trains terminating in platform eight and going to the sidings for clearing. Alright, here we are at Perth. We just run down and uh, continue our way through. Unfortunately, no Coburn trains yet. It's still Mandra, so one minute for the next train, like I said earlier on on the train. We probably won't be able to make it. The next one will be in 15. Then the, then the waiting time might actually cause the journey to be even longer. Let's get down there. Whew, got on just on time onto set 86 here. The clock is still running, so that's why. just one stop under the ground so that's why I'm just gonna film like this it's just one station so we're just basically recording how long do we take and after that I will go up and take the 940 I try to get the 327 service for the 75 and now I'm not gonna waste too much time next station Elizabeth Key. So, we got Armadale and Thorny Line shutdowns tonight until Sunday. So that's why. With uh, 907 running normally all the way, all stops, the same path for now, and also the 908 running to Thorny. Which, after the Armadale Line shutdown begins, they don't run to Thorny for the 908. That's so dumb. Like, why not just go from Victoria Park to Thorny for the 908? They just start term they just terminate that at Cannington. And there are no train replacement for... There are no train replacement for freaking Thorny. Stop the clock. 21 minutes and 15 seconds. I'm just going to call it 15 because I think I stopped it a little late. So that's fine. I want to check the number back here. So I'm walking back here. There's also the staff back there. So I don't want to actually annoy. Set 109. Alright, so let's send this guy out. I'm just gonna stand behind this uh, information box because they're not gonna worry too much with uh, staff coming over. He shouldn't have seen me, so there he goes. Train. Set 100 and. Oh gosh, I forgot the number. Later on, I'm just gonna review my video to mark down the numbers. There that goes. Hope you guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys afterwards back at Red Cliff to take the 940. Let's see how fast the 940 will be without any change. Just direct all the way through from, from Red Cliff all the way to Elizabeth Key later on. So let's go to Red Cliff back again. All right, after around 30 to 35 minutes, I made it back up to Red Cliff here and we're ready to take the 940 to test out how long it takes. So again, the same criteria. Up, uh, it's the same criteria for counting the time. I know you can just look at the app, but the app doesn't really reflect on the real life real-time traffic conditions so that's why I would just take it uh, I'd actually let the last one go I can actually take the last one but the last one was a gas bus I don't want it so I'd rather do a future bus so future bus on 1689 still by Swan though so that's why we wait for this thing to depart and I would just time all the way to Elizabeth Key bus station all right on board 1689 and uh, we're just going to since the bus depart we're just going to click on the clock and the next next shot will be at Elizabeth Key so we wait for the bus to depart now well, there goes a B12 3016. And I think it's departing time, so there is move, click, and I'll see you guys at Elizabeth Key. Alright, maybe it's Elizabeth Key here. And uh, we're not yet there, we haven't stopped it yet. The time is already 39 which is already double the time that we need for the trains. Get this last section here. This driver is a little bit scary, so that's why I don't really want to actually film towards the front for now. And also suddenly downpour, which is already expected, so I already got my umbrella ready, so. But we're getting off at this key, so it's not really that effective. But one thing I want to say real fast, let's get off first and we'll talk about it. Oh, 990 at the front with the <laughs> terrible desktop. Let's get off first. Alright, 
I have clo I've stopped the clock right when this guy stopped at 40 minutes on the dot. So, yep, 9.40 takes 40 minutes, especially with some of these rush hours, time rush hours uh, traffic, which is actually terrible. So that driver is uh, pretty scary, so I'm just gonna get out of there first. So it ended up at 40 minutes on the dot, while well, taking trains just takes 21 minutes and 15 seconds. So you see, what's the difference with that? So, and also one thing is, I missed the NH. I saw it earlier on on the 9.40. Yeah, I missed the NH. It was on the 39 today, 1332 on the 39 service. I just saw it run by. Because I saw a thing that actually with a Desto, that is not like a, that's not on all of the B7, B8 Desto. And it doesn't really look like a, and, and it doesn't really look like a gas bus Desto. Because it looks a little bit weird. And then as soon as the cars in the front move out, and I saw the NH, 1332. So that's pretty awesome. But unfortunately, I missed it. So unfortunate. Well, now I'm going to take the 75 for my pleasure and try it out. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video for the quick comparison journey again. Comparison vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys next time. Remember to like and subscribe. Click the bell so that you get notifications when I post. Check out the links in the description down below for my other channels and my Instagram. Click on this videos up here and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!